What if I told you that scientists may finally be on the verge of turning the tide against hepatitis B, a disease that has silently claimed millions of lives for decades? In this video, you're going to discover how a groundbreaking new therapy is moving through FDA approval, how it works by retraining the body's own immune cells to hunt down and destroy hepatitis B infected cells, and how other countries are already giving it quick approvals because of its huge potential. But here's the catch. The story isn't just about one therapy. It could change medicine far beyond hepatitis B. Stay with me, because the most surprising part is still coming. There's a biotech company, Lion TCR, that has just achieved something extraordinary. Their therapy, called Liosex M04, has been cleared by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for Phase 1b2 clinical trials. That means actual patients with chronic hepatitis B will be treated in carefully monitored studies. And this happened after the same therapy received fast-track designation and orphan drug status for liver cancer linked to hepatitis B. Three regulatory green lights. That doesn't happen unless something about the science looks truly promising. But the big question is, what makes this therapy so different from everything we've tried before? Let's dive into that in just a second. More than 290 million people worldwide, men and women, young and old, are living with chronic hepatitis B. Most don't even know it until complications appear. Antiviral drugs exist, but they don't cure the infection. They just hold it down, forcing patients to take pills for life. And despite treatment, the risk of liver cancer remains. Imagine being told at 25 that you'll likely be on medication for the next 50 years, never fully free of the virus inside you. Now imagine being told there's finally a chance your own immune system could be retrained to wipe the infection out. That's what makes this new therapy so fascinating and why you should keep watching. Liasix M04 isn't a pill, it's a cell therapy. Here's how it works. Doctors take T cells from the patient, send them to a lab, and use messenger RNA to give them special instructions. These new instructions act like GPS coordinates that tell the T cells exactly how to find hepatitis B infected liver cells. When those engineered T cells are returned to the patient, they become precision hunters, targeting and destroying infected cells. Antivirals suppress the virus. These cells go after the root cause. That's the difference, and it's why experts are calling this potentially revolutionary. And this is where things get interesting. It's the first T-cell receptor therapy in the world to enter clinical development for chronic hepatitis B. Nobody has done this before. Regulators know how urgent the need is, so they've given this therapy the kind of support that speeds up the entire process. And outside the US, other health agencies are also signaling openness to therapies like this recognizing how devastating hepatitis B is globally. The fact that multiple regulators are moving fast is a sign of how serious this is. Now imagine what this could mean if it works. For patients who have been told they'll never be cured, this is a new kind of hope. For communities where hepatitis B is common and stigma runs deep, it's a chance to dream of a future without fear. Scientists have been working on hepatitis B for decades, and journals like The Lancet and Nature often remind us that current treatments fall short. But now, instead of just controlling the disease, we're looking at the possibility of functional cure. That's why this story matters far beyond the lab. But what evidence do we have so far? In preclinical and early patient studies, this therapy reduced hepatitis B antigens, the very proteins that show the virus is active, and even showed early antiviral activity. It also demonstrated anti-tumor effects in hepatitis B-related cancers. And here's the encouraging part. So far, the safety profile looks manageable. That's been one of the biggest fears with immune therapies, causing the immune system to attack too aggressively. If safety continues to hold, that's a game changer. Keep watching, because the next detail will show you just how bold this is. Here's where we need to be realistic. Early clinical trials are still small. The immune system is complicated, and therapies that work in the lab sometimes stumble in real people. Leading journals like JAMA and the New England Journal of Medicine caution us not to get ahead of ourselves. Risks include immune overreaction, unintended side effects, and the high cost of manufacturing. But here's the important point. The FDA rarely offers multiple fast track pathways unless the data is compelling. That tells us the science is strong enough to justify cautious optimism. 
Now, let's think bigger. If this works, it could open the door to a whole new class of treatments. Imagine T-cell receptor therapies not only targeting hepatitis B, but also other chronic infections, or even cancers that have resisted everything else. Lion TCR is using artificial intelligence to speed up the discovery of new T-cell receptors, which could mean faster progress in multiple diseases. In other words, this might not just be a hepatitis B breakthrough. It could reshape the future of immunotherapy itself. Don't click away yet, because the potential impact is massive. But let's come back to the present. The most important milestones ahead are the results from the ongoing clinical trials. We'll want to see how many patients show reductions in viral proteins, how durable those responses are, and whether patients can live free of daily medication. We'll also want to see how it performs across different populations, because hepatitis B is not the same everywhere. Access is another big piece of the puzzle. Will this be available only to the wealthy, or will it reach the countries where hepatitis B is most common? That question could decide how big this breakthrough truly is. So here's the bottom line. Lion TCR has achieved something rare, triple FDA milestones for a therapy aimed at chronic hepatitis B. For the millions living with this virus, it's not just another treatment option. It's the first real glimpse of freedom from a lifetime of pills and fear of cancer. For science, it could be the beginning of a new era in immunotherapy. And for global health, it could change everything. If you've stayed with me this far, you're the kind of person who understands that science isn't just about labs and approvals, it's about rewriting human possibility. So hit that like button, share this video with someone who needs hope, and subscribe so you don't miss the updates as new results come in. And here's my question for you. If you had the choice, would you push for faster approval, focus on long-term safety, or demand global accessibility first? Drop your answer in the comments. I can't wait to read them. Science is moving fast, and what you've just heard could be one of the most important stories in medicine today. The fight against hepatitis B is being rewritten before our eyes, and you've just seen the first chapter.